What's going on everyone? Happy Friday to everyone. Hopefully everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had taken a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Friday edition of the virus update for Friday, October 4th, 2024. If you're new to my channel, this is where I do the daily virus update, formerly known as the pandemic update, on all things COVID and any other virus that could be a health threat to you. Why is this called the daily virus update now? Well, we talk about a lot of different viruses on this channel. Try and keep you informed of what's going on with each and every one of these viruses. Yes, COVID is the most important and the biggest virus that we talk about here on the channel. However, you need to be informed with all the viruses. And I've talked about so many recently and while well, we're coming into the colder months where more will come out to play, and unfortunately make people very sick. So I thought, you know what? It's time. I've been thinking about it for a while. It's time we change the name of these daily videos to Virus Update. But don't get me wrong. COVID is still a major pandemic. Long COVID, I think that's a pandemic of its own. A lot of people want a public health emergency declared just for long COVID. And I fully agree that it should be because long COVID, you know, you test positive for COVID. Some people recover, some people don't. And the ones that don't recover go on to develop new problems. Uh, it can be disabling. It can really turn their life upside down and make them wish, I just want my former old self back. But guess what? Thanks to the COVID virus, for many people, millions of people, that just does not happen. And that's called long COVID. That's a pandemic of its own. And then, of course, you add all these other viruses into the mix. Some people who get COVID have their immune system get warped and well then they get a common cold which leads into something serious or just the flu which leads into something serious yes it's happening now that we are in the COVID era so if you're new to my channel subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up hit that notification bell share these videos with anyone you know and of course leave your comments down below so just once again just to say it again Going forward, this will now be known as the Virus Update. Look for that title on my videos. And it may take time for the YouTube algorithm to recognize that, hey, I'm posting something else daily because it got so accustomed to me putting pandemic update. All right, starting off with California today. Two dairy workers in California test positive for H5N1 bird flu. Yes, we knew of one yesterday. Now we know that it is two. And they do say that so far they are dealing with mild symptoms. We'll have to see if this spreads to any more workers. Hopefully it does not. Moving on to our next story. This is really interesting. Prince William missed the Paris Olympics to protect Kate from COVID, he tells swimmers in Gateshead. And as we know, his wife is dealing with chemotherapy. So uh, getting COVID, that would not be a good thing. And plus, you should do all you can to protect yourself from COVID anyhow. All right, moving on to this now. St. Bonaventure students in New York, this is in New York, is reporting that there is a um, illness outbreak. They're, now, they're saying the words illness outbreak, but if you read this, it talks an awful lot about people being sick with COVID. And one student said he feels or they feel like a lot of students still believe that COVID is not an issue, even with there being an outbreak on campus. That's just totally ridiculous that some would believe that it's not, and it's probably true. People think, oh, it's over with, you, you know the deal. But meanwhile, people get oh so surprised when they test positive for COVID. Wow, COVID? That can't be, I was told COVID was over. No, no, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you COVID is not over. All right. Remember we were talking about triple E not too long ago. You know, remember back when I was uh, visiting relatives up in Maine where we kept the videos going, but uh, there were a lot of news stories popping in about triple E. Well, triple E has now claimed a second New Hampshire resident this year has now died of the virus. Yes, this is not a good thing and it's been popping up in many states but fortunately New Hampshire's having a rough go at it. In North Idaho it looks like the problem is chronic wasting disease. 
two more deer have tested positive for the virus so that's not a good thing and in a lot of states i know here in pennsylvania archery season just started if you hunt in a chronic wasting disease management area please take it seriously i know some people are going to get a deer they're going to take it to the butcher and not all butchers are taking this seriously please make sure you're checking to see if your deer is infected by chronic wasting disease especially if you shoot a deer and you see it's just clearly not looking right uh there's something wrong with it if it's looking very thin and bony yeah there's something wrong with that deer and you do not want to be eating the meat from that deer all right the uk yesterday had its weekly update yeah, they're in another COVID wave. 2,797 COVID cases. That's up by 496. And deaths, believe it or not, actually went up. Deaths, 134. That is up by 45. Taking a look at today's pollen levels, and I do believe this is up to date. Yes, it is. 49% of the country is in low to medium status, the worst being in the southern U.S. Taking a look at air qualities, there are still a lot of bad areas with bad air quality out on the west coast still a little bit of bad air quality in the southeast and really in a lot of states the places that got hit hard by helena are dealing with bad air qualities and you can see here the west coast yeah things are not good want to learn more about climate and weather climate data report is my other twitter page for that and unfortunately you're going to see me talking about the tropics again this weekend in the Gulf. In fact, I might even try and get a video out this weekend. I didn't do any videos for Helena. I might try and get one out this weekend because I may have some time at some point. Yeah, there may be another hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico, Florida. Please keep all eyes on that. Yeah, yet again. Not, not good. All right, Philadelphia on Thursday had 799 EMS incidents. Let's do a live look at what's going on in montgomery county right now we do see there are a few ems calls 12 reported at the moment a bit busier over in chester county but we do see that the ems standby is starting to show up but even at that yeah there's just one of them a lot of uh different types of calls overdose sick person heart problems diabetic emergency respiratory difficulty and it's a busy afternoon in chester county Pennsylvania. Canadian viral levels for today. COVID-19 is moderate. Flu A is now moderate. Flu B is low. And RSV is low at this time. All right, let's take a look at some uh, notes from coming from CJS83172. And in the notes from yesterday that he added in the comment, daily weekday reporting states, Florida added another 490 new cases and 63 new deaths, mostly from the past three weeks and six from this current week. New Jersey added 461 new cases and two new deaths. New York State added 1,407 new cases. We'll look at both of those states for today in just a few minutes. Virginia had another 579 new cases and three new deaths in their cumulative open data page has updated this week's info and the weekly reporting states washington dc one new cdc reported death delaware 332 new cases iowa an estimated 465 new cases and 20 new cdc reported deaths kentucky 1194 new cases and 31 new cdc reported deaths massachusetts had 2313 new cases and 25 new deaths a wave high not counting that most that monthly update in early august minnesota 2112 new cases and 28 new deaths a wave high north carolina 41 cdc reported deaths your deaths are still far too high nebraska 439 new positive tests and 9 CDC reported deaths. Ohio, as we saw yesterday, 4,219 new cases and 41 new state reported deaths, a wave high. Oklahoma, 15 new CDC reported deaths. Utah, 602 people added to their living with COVID tab and another 11 deaths. That's a wave high for deaths. Vermont, you're still stubbornly high on everything. Vermont, 257 new cases and seven new deaths you have had a ton of deaths in this wave which is just not 
good because you were the state that was supposed to be doing the best. You were supposed to be the most vaccinated. But here we are, another seven deaths, and you're about to get hit really hard, as is New Hampshire and maybe Maine as well, with leaf peepers, which that could lead to some spread. I talk about it every year. That could lead to the spread of some cases as well. So let's just say you are headed up there this weekend to see some leaf peeping. Well, let's see what the COVID levels are in the Northeast U.S. And we can see here, COVID remains high. And take a look at this. It's actually going up a little bit once again. Some of that could be in relation to some of these northern New England towns that over the next two weekends, we'll see probably the most people they see all year leaf peeping. It's, it's been breaking records in some of these towns. I know Stowe, Vermont posted, uh, I believe it was last year, the most people they've ever seen for leaf peeping. And you can see here it's going up slightly. RSV is low. Influenza A in the northeast. It is starting to rise a little bit. Influenza B is flat at this time. HMPV is low at this time. Norovirus is dropping slightly, but it's not far off uh, from being moderate. It may go moderate at some point because we've been seeing other regions in the United States starting to rise, but not doing so just yet in the northeast. And we can see everything else is doing fine at this time. Let's take a look at some of those leaf peeping areas like Montpelier. I wish I could show you Stowe, Vermont. That would be really interesting if they had a wastewater site there. But we can see here, after a big rise in September, they have dropped, but they've leveled off a little bit in Montpelier, Vermont. And let's see, RSV, influenza A, influenza B, not much of an issue yet. Norovirus is starting to trend upward and is listed as high. You can see there are no detections of MPOX at this time. Something else I wanted to show you today. On the nationwide level, take a look at this. You can see COVID continues to drop. But look at RSV. RSV has been slowly trending upward. It's still low at this time, but it has been trending upward. Influenza A and B, not much of an issue yet. Norovirus here is listed as high levels now. So keep your eyes out for that. Take a look at some updated data from the CDC today. And we can see here, Finally, some good news. The number of low sites, you know, those really low levels of COVID being detected in wastewater. That's right. They can detect COVID in wastewater. It's now up to 78 sites. I mean, it's increasing. We would like to see that number a lot higher. But unfortunately, there are still some sites that are in the red and orange. 159 red sites. That's really high levels of COVID. And 60 to 79% COVID detected. That's at 400 and. 54 sites so yeah we still got a lot of work to do but if we take a look at the national chart we can clearly see that COVID levels continue to come down and if it continues at this rate we will end up lower than we did last year going into the winter wave which that would be a really good thing and in fact let's see here we're getting yeah we're getting really close to that right wow we we are practically there right now that's uh, a huge improvement so we'll have to see uh, what happens with that, and it's showing no signs of slowing down. It's continuing to drop. Taking a look at the latest COVID variant, this did not update today. The KP 3.1.1 variant is at 58.7%. XEC is at 6%. Taking a look at emergency department visits, no signs of that slowing down either. That's continuing to slow down and drop. So in other words, people diagnosed with COVID showing up at the emergency department, the number of people doing so is dropping. Take a look at epidemic status. The majority of the country is now declining or likely declining for COVID. Yes, this is this is huge. I mean, we don't see any state right now that is rising for this. We do see that there are some that are just not changing, but hey, this is huge. And it looks like to me, like they ha happen to uh, change that. Remember how it used to say undecided or uncertain? or whatever it said, well now it just says not changing, and there are several places that show that, and there's also a few that are not estimated as well. All right, taking a look at influenza-like activity, we do note that D.C. has dropped back to low levels. The rest of the country is um, in minimal at this time. Nowhere is moderate, high, or very high as of yet. That is some good news. All right, let's take a look at the Walgreens flu index, and we do note here that the top 10 markets for flu at this time are mainly in the south. There's a few of them that are in Florida. There's a few in Mississippi. 
New Mexico, and in Texas. Everywhere else is in the green, which represents very low levels of flu activity at this time. All right, taking a look at New Jersey for today. 434 people in the hospital, 11 people on a ventilator, 48 people in the ICU, and we do have 46 discharges to report at this time. In New York State today, 1,000 182 new cases added. Cases continue to drop in New York State at this time. Taking a look at New York State hospitalizations, 852. Yes, that number continues to drop. And there's only 91 people in the ICU at this time. Should this continue, I think they could get below 800 hospitalizations before the next wave. All right, real quickly, I wanted to show you something in New York City. These are the latest variants that are dominating in New York City. The KP.3.1.1 variant is at 27%. LD1.7 is at 15%. LD.1 is at uh, 12%. Then you have KP.2 at 22%, JN 1.13.1 is at 1%, and JN.1 is at 19%, and there is, believe it or not, BQ 1.1, which is showing up here at the 0%, no, that's not what I want to show you, other percent is 3% at this time. Los Angeles this week, generally good news, hospitalizations continue to drop, deaths are, um, yeah, you know, they're, they're still... They're the last lagging factor of waste, so there are still some deaths occurring. Cases are dropping at this time, and testing positivity rate continues to fall. It's down to 4.7%, which is way lower than the high that was 13.79%. Wastewater is dropping at this time, and emergency department visits for COVID, that's dropping as well. Taking a look at what's going on in California as a whole, the COVID positivity rate is at 6.9%. That's down by 0.9%. COVID-19 deaths, it says here, 2.2% of deaths due to COVID in the past week, and that remains steady. Influenza test positivity rate is at 1.2%. We see there's an ever so slight increase there, which is up by 0.2%, and influenza deaths are not an issue at this time. Alrighty, folks, that does it for the Friday edition of the virus update. We'll have another virus update either tomorrow or Sunday. I think one of the days this weekend we may actually miss out. I might actually uh, substitute a day and do a video on my other channel. So uh, forgive me for that. And we'll have to see how much news pops up over the weekend as well. Remember, last Sunday there was a very slow news day. And I think we will show some more wastewater sites this weekend as well. If you like this video, Give it a thumbs up. Are you happy with the name change? Are you not happy with it? Let me know about that down below. I think it was needed. I just talk about so many different viruses. Let's just put a name that covers everything. Because let's face it, flu is not a pandemic. Uh, norovirus is not a pandemic. Get it? I think it's time to call it Virus Update. Subscribe down below if you're new. Share this video with anyone you know. And of course, hit that notification bell and, again, comments down below. I will see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone, and have a fantastic weekend. Bye-bye for now, and thanks for watching.